Hello and greetings. Good day, one and all, my lovely members of the Cupcake Army. Welcome back to Let's Play the most anticipated and so far awesome Half-Life 1 horror modification of all time, Cry of Fear. Time to begin recording session number two, ladies and gents. The lights are mostly turned off, the door to this very room is open, my volume is cranked up all the way to the max, and last but not least, I am the only person within the house at this very moment in time. Well, that is only half true, cause my dog is laying right next to me. Hopefully the little guy will not jump when I am going to be scared. In any case, the setup is basically perfect to have something scare the very soul out of my flesh consisting shell. So, when we last left off with our protagonist, Simon had found himself within a seemingly abandoned but also monster infested apartment building. Why are we inside this very place? Because Simon received an ominous SMS of somebody desperately begging for help. Can we trust it is the question? Debatably not. But he, she, or maybe even it, also sent a second SMS, 4 floor, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And now we are trying to find this person. Being inside a building definitely feels much safer than being outside, <laughs> isn't that right? Also, the mere thought that there could be another human trapped within this crazy new world we have found ourselves in is definitely motivating enough to start a one-man search party. With all of that said, let us continue, shall we? Now, what should be my plan of attack? Let's see. Ah, yes, of course. Um, I think one floor below, there is a room we just recently visited. A room I don't really want to re-enter, for there was a strange, strange creature trying to kill me. However, upon leaving the room again, the game told us how to use keys. Which leads me to the assumption that I probably overlooked a key. <sighs> Do I really have to? Yes, there's most definitely, and I like to say that, I like to say a lot of things over and over and over. There's most definitely no way around it. We'll have to back track into that room. Oh, please, if there is a god in this world, never make me head into this darkness. I mean, look at it. It doesn't matter if it is a forest or a park, look how dark it is. I can't see a thing. I hardly thought that even my little lamp of the cell phone would be able to illuminate everything. Oh, well. Which floor was it? The second one? I think so. Yes, here we are. Right. The nightmare shall continue. Welcome back to floor number two. The last time we visited it, there were not a lot of creatures. One in the hallway and one in the room we are about to re-enter. Now, before we do that, let me try something out. I still don't really know how the dual wielding works. Aha! Well, would you look at that one and all. Just recently, somebody in the comment section of episode number 5, somebody named Dunbos, informed me that you can actually dual wield the knife and the cell phone and how to do it. Thank you very, very much. So as you can see, one and all, we can use both our knife and cell phone at the same time. Would have been fucking great to know how to do it much earlier already. Well, at least now we have more light than before, which means I will not be as scared. Yes, that is something you can doubt. Feel free to. But I will try my very best not to freak out as easily as the last time. So, this is the room. There was a strange creature whose head exploded, revealing a spiked pole. Yes, not a lot seems to make sense in this world. Oh well. I am not ready. <laughs> Even with my knife equipped, I am so not ready. Oh well. Look at my health though. I'm about to die. <laughs> this is not good. This is not going to be good whatsoever. Bring it on. Well, who should bring it on is the question. After all, I killed the monster. 
still though. Let's be careful. Here we are. Aha! There are items. And apparently they... I <laughs> figured that much out already. They glow red. Hmm, let me quickly check out something in the options. Yes, I am sorry ladies and gentlemen, but sometimes these kind of things need to be done. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder if there is a option that can turn off the glowing of items, because as helpful as it is, I'd like a challenge, and, you know, items normally don't glow in real life. Let's see, what could be an option causing the glow? Maybe high quality specular? I'm not too sure. Well, I'm gonna figure it out at a later point in time. For now, I guess I will just accept the help. A lovely syringe. How I miss thee. Let's use it right away. <sighs> oh yeah, that feels nice. Now I am once again ready to rock. <laughs> yeah. And here we have a key on the floor, just as I expected. You got the apartment key, it seems. Hmm. Apartment key. A generic key for an apartment. There is a note next to it. Neighbor across. Neighbor across? What could be the meaning of that? And also, which door could this key belong to? Oh, neighbor across. I get it. Alright, let's go for it. Is this person really going to be worth it? What if it's just another monster trying to fuck with my brain? And what about the balcony in this apartment? Can I enter it? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, moving on. Uh-oh. I don't know if this music was here before. Well, now that we've picked up a key, something was probably triggered. Which means I will keep my guard up even more than before. So, neighbor across, eh? It's most likely going to be this very door. So, how am I going to use this key? Maybe just drop it on, or drag it on equip use? Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, we have unlocked the very first door of the game. Amazing. Now what could be inside is the question. I am still only equipped with a switchblade. Please don't let it be a creep. I guess I can live with the little slashers, but the creeps? Oh no no no, please don't let it be one of those. <sighs> I am ready to get scared. Here we go. Oh boy. I don't like this music. Oh, a Scarface poster. Well, that's cute. But I cannot concentrate. This music is so... my Jesus. Something is in that room there. What is it? Looks like a slasher. And there's a broken wall. All right, you little shit, I am ready. Uh. Bring it. What are you waiting for? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah. 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 Fucking bastard almost killed me. Well, it was definitely not a good idea to try and fight him in this corridor. Oh, is the music gone? Was that it? The only enemy of this room? Well, that wasn't so frightening. You have to throw a little bit more at me if you want to scare me, cry of fear developers. A lovely bathroom with nothing inside. Oh well. Who the hell broke this wall then? A very good question. Okay. By the way, how bright is it in here without the light? Hmm. I prefer to keep it switched on, thank you very much. Now, are there any items? Hmm. Remotes, notes, an octave of a plant, 
Seriously, who broke this? Well, I guess I can use it to proceed. <laughs> fuck! Holy fuck! No, 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 no. You stay on that side of the wall, and I'm gonna stay here. There does not need to be any further hostility. I once already told that to one of your fellow comrades, but it didn't work. Well, what's the matter? Jesus, look at that thing. Oh, can't get across. Oh, should I feel sorry for you now? Well, maybe not, since I need to get past that guy. Uh, no, 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 wrong button. Listen, you creep, there's only one way this is going to work out. One of us needs to die, and it is not going to be me. So, would you please, um, would you please agree with me on this one? Uh. Oh, Jesus. Ah. You sodding bastard. Can I jump onto the bat? I can't. Alright, let's duke this out. Ah. 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 You son of a bitch. So far so good. Yes, I wanted to make fun of this guy. I hardly get the opportunity to feel cheerful in this game. But now he is blocking my path and I don't want to lose the energy. Get out of my way, you dolt. I swear to god, you're only making things more complicated than they need to be. Uh -oh. Careful. Back off, pal. I'm in a bad mood. Well, I'm not yet in a bad mood, but I'm gonna be soon if you don't step aside. Ah. Alright, it seems that one more hit is gonna be enough to kill me. Oh boy. Come on, let's do this like civilized. Uh, I swear to god, this bastard is going to be the end of me. Will you please die? Please do me the favor! Whoa. Jesus Christ, this is going to be epic. What? Oh my, now I am almost dead. You sudden bastard! Oh, you. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 where am I? Whoa, what's going on? Help! I'm moving on my own! What's going on? Jesus Christ, help! Um, ah! I'm moving on my own! Jesus Christ, this is frightening! I wonder if this is a glitch in the game. Yeah! Come on, Simon! Stop it! No reason to freak out! Oh. Wait. Oh, everything's back to normal. What the fuck was that all about? I have no idea. Well, that's what I get for making fun of that bastard. He freaking killed me. Well, it is a mistake I am not going to repeat. First of all, let's get that key for the second time. Here we go. Now, next, let's use the syringe. Mm. Delightful. <gasps> Alright, now, I do not plan on dying a second time. Let's use the key, most importantly. There we go. Now then, bring it on, you crew of crazy freaks, I am ready. Now, let's try to fight this thing a little bit more conveniently than before. Bring it on. Huh. There we go. One down, one more to go. Uh, what am I going to do about this bastard? He's going to wipe the floor with me. Maybe I shouldn't be so afraid. Maybe I can tear him down faster if I just stab away. <laughs> Nope, that is not going to work. Oh gosh dang it. I wonder if I can hit him if I just have the 
knife equipped. <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. Dad, yeah, that's right. Come on, I'll hit you and you back off and here. <laughs> Holy shit, he's coming closer. Listen. Listen, this is a very awkward situation. Uh, I realized that, but only one of us is going to leave the battlefield alive today. And I. Oh my. Alright, good sir. Looks like I'll have a title for this episode. You are going to be my nemesis. Alright, fine. You, want to into it, you can have it. <sighs> well, that was a rather violent way of doing things, but it worked, didn't it? So now I can feel safe. Fucking bastard. Oh my, and I can't run. This is very inconvenient. <laughs> no worries, I promise you will get through this, Simon. You just need to believe. At least we are safe in here. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Well, this is a problem. Oh my god, this is a familiar situation, isn't it? Uh, what the hell do I do now? I don't have enough energy to fight that thing. It's gonna tear me apart. And I don't want to make you guys <coughs> go through me fighting the same monsters again and again and again. Look, can't I walk past you? <coughs> can't we come to a, you know, um, peace agreement? I am not fast enough with such a low amount of health to kill this thing. Oh, wait a minute. If he is going to stay in that very place, then this might work out. Alright, well, I am glad that you are trying to have some mercy on me. Oh my, this might seem funny to you one at all, but to me, this is tense, because I don't want to die. The next hit is going to be it. Oh no 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 no, you stay right the fuck where you are. <coughs> Will you please die? <coughs> Come on, be a pal. <sighs> and once again, the Shadow Cookie has saved himself from a seemingly impossible scenario. Where death was the only available option. Now, looks like we are in a different apartment now. How sweet. <laughs> At least this place is well illuminated. That's a pleasant surprise. However, a syringe would really be appreciated right now. Oh my god, don't let there be another monster. Please don't let there be another one, I beg of you. Oh, thank the lord, that's a syringe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is not good. This is not good at all. Shoot up, Simon. Do me the favor. <sighs> oh my. Say, is it just me? Or does the morphine have less of an impact than before? Oh, this is probably one of the lovely side effects. Yes, indeed. We only shot up a few minutes ago, so it hasn't worn off yet. Which means that the second shot so early again wouldn't be as effective. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. Now, where did that noise come from? Another creep. Oh dear, something broke the wall from the other side. And this corridor, or door, is totally blocked. Hello? Who wants to fight with me? Don't think I'm scared of you. Nothing? Yeah, right, of course it's gonna be nothing. I don't trust this. Not one bit. Whoa, what the hell? An arm or what? This is freaky. Alright, come on, Simon. Get through this hole. There's something in the ceiling indeed. Is that a handgun? It is. Alright, Simon, I don't fucking care who the hell that poor fellow is up there. Oh, please don't let it be the person I wanted to save. But it's a gun! Take it! Is that a body? 
Christ smells bad. He's holding a gun. Better take it with me. Oh. <laughs> I have a gun! Yes, yes, tutorial guy. Um, iron sights, precise aiming, something, something, something. I get it. I get your drift. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found a better fucking weapon than the switchblade. We are now in possession of a gun. Oh wow, <laughs> now that is a sound effect with some impact behind it. <laughs> no, wait, 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 it, it, oh, I should have read it. It said something about iron sights, how do I use them? Aha. Uh -huh. It's a game with iron sights, one and all. Yes, indeed, is that a big surprise? No, not really, lots of games nowadays have iron sights, but this is a Half-Life 1 modification. This could come in handy, I guess. By the way, hmm, I think I'm gonna change something up in a second. I'm not really too happy with the current um, configuration of how to use melee and how to use the iron sights. I'm gonna change that around soon. Now, what the hell? We have this gun, and I really don't know whom this dead body belongs to, but I guess I'm just gonna accept it. I mean, this is a horrific scenario after all, so maybe this poor fella just was a victim of the creatures. Which would mean that this is really taking place in reality after all. Hmm, there's something else on the floor. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I cannot hold my cell phone at the same time as the gun, right? Or, let me guess, if I dual wield these babies... Uh, yeah, that's lovely. Dual wield the cell phone and the key. Not wasteful at all. Okay, I can hold both at the same time, but the gun will probably be a lot less accurate. I don't know if I can live with that. Hmm, this game is forcing you to make some important decisions. Now, what did we pick up besides the gun? Something fell on the floor? A key. Hall key. It looks like a kind of key for hall doors. Well, this is just gonna open up new possibilities to explore this apartment building. Now, what is this? Could that be a gun magazine? It is. It is a gun magazine, one and all. Oh ho ho ho, it's like Christmas around here. Alright folks, I think this is gonna be enough for the first episode of Gaming Session number 3. Let me cut the video here, and when we'll come back, now that we have a gun, hopefully investigating this place is gonna be a little bit less frightening. Until then, ladies and gents, until then.